Should Daniel Ricciardo go to McLaren for the 2019 and for the foreseeable future after that? The Guardian this morning published an article that said McLaren is offering $20 million a year for Ricciardo's services. Triple his salary right now. Money talks. Um, just ask any NBA player that signed during the gold rush of NBA contracts. Timothy Mozgov, Chandler Parsons, um, Joe Johnson. All of those guys got paid. Did they go to winning teams? Absolutely not. But they still made a shit ton of money. Should Daniel Ricciardo, in a sense, give up his most likely productive years in Formula 1, which are ahead of him, right in front of him, in order to get paid? That's really the question. Does money matter that much to Ricardo? I'm rich, bitch! I don't know. I don't think a lot of people know. But when someone offers to triple your salary, you listen. You're not going to be like, oh, no. Don't worry. I'll keep being an accountant for $40,000 a year. Meanwhile, Deloitte's offering one hundred and twenty k, and you're like, no, 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 no. Listen, this place is going to boom. I'm going to stay here. You're not going to do that. You're going to go to Deloitte. You're going to sell your soul for that money. Should he go to McLaren? Absolutely fucking not. You've seen what they do with Fernando. He's the best driver in the world. He can only muster like a 14th place finish sometimes. That's a McLaren problem. McLaren needs to find themselves. They used to be ruthless. These people used to have no discretion. They're out to kill. All they want to do is win races, win championships, and not give a fuck about anyone else. Daniel Ricciardo doesn't fit that mold. Daniel Ricciardo fits the new McLaren mold. The happy papaya orange. Everybody's welcome. Let's do everything we possibly can to make racing better. That Daniel Ricciardo fits fits that McLaren. Fits the new McLaren. The old McLaren. The McLaren that we all fell in love with. The McLaren that we romanticize still. They wanted to kill everybody. Ron Dennis. Martin Whitmarsh. They were out for blood. They're the evil empire. Who wouldn't think twice about just cutting someone off at the knees. This new McLaren, they're offering Daniel Ricciardo $20 million a year to replace who? This must sort of tend to lead to the fact that Fernando's not going to be there next year. But, or maybe let us replace Stoffel Van Dorn and have Fernando versus Daniel Ricciardo. If Ricciardo was smart, which I think he is, he's going to hold out to figure out where Lewis is going, which is obviously Mercedes. I don't know why anyone's freaking out about that. But he's going to try to get into a Ferrari. If he can't get into a Ferrari, stay at Red Bull. Force them to pay you a little bit more. They're not going to triple your salary just because Red Bull doesn't pay at all. I mean, I think probably part of the reason Vettel left was, one, he wanted to race for Ferrari, but two, he's getting paid $60 million a year almost versus probably the $8 million a year he's Red making. Bull. So to complain about millions, I know is a little just ridiculous. Like, oh, what's the difference between $8 million and $20 million? Well, I mean, a lot, obviously, $12 million if you want to be a dad joke here. But it definitely, you definitely rather get paid $20 million. Unfortunately, you're going to sacrifice winning and possible championships and probably the prime of your career. Still got paid, though. Daniel Ricciardo, stay at Red Bull. Unfortunately, they're going to be with Honda, but it's still going to be better off than McLaren is right now because they can't even figure out how to get the run out of work. Stay at Red Bull. Go to Ferrari. Thank McLaren for their interest. Tell them to sign Lando Norris. That's just probably for the best. Follow us on Twitter, Apex Off. ApexOff.com for the website. ApexOff.com, upper right-hand corner for the blog. Not the blog, the shop 